Well, I'm just about to attempt a walk around the golf course, I guess. I'm parked in a tiny little parking lot that I've kindly plowed out here at what in the summertime is the entrance to the campground and that roof that you can see beyond the snowbank that is the place where the campers register to, to camp here. There's about a hundred camping sites, I think, if I remember correctly. I've already got the snowshoes on. Don't need them to cross the road, but I'm going to need them soon. I can see where there's been snowmobiles go around the, the golf course. I don't know if they actually allow that or if it's just happening. Don't see where it would do any damage. So much snow. Made it much easier getting up over the snowbank anyway. I'm glad the snowmobiles have been here. I won't keep this running for the entire course. I'll periodically turn it back on, show you some different white snowy views. It's a nine hole golf course. Uh, the land and the design is already for the full 18 hole course, but. Uh, I guess the money was never there. I don't play golf, but I'm told it's a fairly challenging golf course. I don't play golf in the summertime, but I use the golf course in the winter. in these uh, tracks where the snowmobiles have been. It's almost as good as back home where I'm, I've got a good trail beat down. I stay in the trail, I don't sink very much with the same, same sort of things happening right here. They've got it compacted so that uh, basically just walking on top of it. I'm sure if I took the snowshoes off, I would soon sink down to my knees or further. Well, I entered the course down there at the base of that hill and I come up over and I'm a bit out of breath. <laughs> It's harder than walking. Walking on snowshoes is a totally different kind of exercise. You use muscles that you haven't used in a while. When I left home, it was minus six, which is about the warmest it's been here in several weeks. However, there is a fair breeze, so I suppose with the wind chill factor, it's probably minus 10 or so. But not bad as winter's days go. We've had three blizzards, and now they're telling us that uh, this Friday, this is what, this is Wednesday, this Friday we have another snowstorm coming in, which is just supposed to be sort of an average snowstorm, I guess, nothing too serious. However, there's another one building up for Sunday, Valentine's Day, the 14th of February. I imagine it'll be March sometime before I get this video out, so I might as well give you the date. Uh, and that is two low pressure areas. One is coming up from the southern states, and one is coming across country from the Great Lakes. And they are supposed to join up and head straight up here for us. So they're calling it another nor'easter. So far, the forecasters aren't willing to give an estimate on how much snow we can expect, but I suspect it would be another significant snowfall. Well, normally when I'm out here in the winter time, I guess I, guess I don't see so many snowmobile tracks, but normally I see where there's been some people cross-country skiing, but haven't found anything. Maybe it's just been too cold for that. This next section that I'm just about to turn the corner on is along the highway 
I think different times that I've done driving videos or whatever I mentioned when I'm passing the golf course. There's a vehicle going by there now. This next stretch goes along the edge of the highway. And there's lots of wind. Imagine you're getting lots of wind noise. This is one of the prettier greens when it's green, in my opinion anyway. You tee off from up here and the green is down there in that smooth snow area. And then you go across through the trees. You can see a little shelter there maybe. You go across through the trees and the other tee brings you back up this level again. You can see that bird flying there. That's a bald eagle. A mature bald eagle. I don't have my glasses on because they steam up but I can see the white tail and the white head. They're quite common around here. We have a lot of bald eagles. I've seen, oh, I don't know, nine or ten in a group different times. Not as common as they are in the place in Nova Scotia. I can't think of the name of the place now, but they, they put out uh, feed for them in the winter time, and they have a, an eagle festival, I guess. I think maybe it might even have been last weekend. I think there are a lot of chicken farms there or whatever, and they put out chicken carcasses and, on the snow. Anyway, the trees, they had it on the news and showed footage of it. The trees are full of eagles. You probably could count 30 to 40 at any given time. Quite a sight. And of course, bird watchers and just people that are interested come from all over to see it in the wintertime. This is the other side where they would be teeing off to come back over up, up the hill here to play the next hole. And I don't go down there on my snowshoes. Going down is fun, but you have to come back up, but that's not so much fun. Just off to the right, uh, you see that little building. That's a pump house, and under the snow and ice is a very large man-made pond, but a very large pond. And the pump house pumps water out of the pond into the irrigation system for the golf course. It keeps it lovely and green in a real dry summer. I'm just about to take a turn to the left here. And once I get over to the next fairway, that's the ninth, the last one. And I think I probably joined the course at let me see, I was probably on the second fairway, so I'm better than three quarters of the way around anyway. Snow is deeper here, even, even in one of the snowmobile tracks. I'm sinking a few inches every step. I haven't seen any animal tracks. I thought I might see deer tracks in some of these open areas. They must be having a horrible winter with the deep snow. 
but I haven't seen rabbit tracks or anything like that. Just the bald eagle. Well, this is the last fairway. The green at the end of this is the ninth green. And if you can make out a little bit of a, a roof line off to the right there, that's the clubhouse. I'll give you a closer look at that when I go down past it. I have to snowshoe down past it to get back to where my car is. Quite sheltered here. Not so much wind. The sun feels good. Feels good period to get out and do a little something. I've been postbound for so long with these storms and cold weather. I'm joking with people that I think I've been sentenced to solitary confinement. Almost to the clubhouse. I went off the beaten trail there for a little bit. And with the snowshoes, I don't know, only sinking down into it about six inches or so, I guess. I'll go for this little rise to the clubhouse. combination bar, restaurant, pro shop, and uh, down in the basement are the uh, locker rooms and showers, whatever, for the members. Not that large of a building, I guess. Now that's the clubhouse from the front side of it. I wouldn't say there's been anybody in there to even check on anything this winter. All the doors have got a lot of snow piled up in front of them. We turn around here, this is Herring Cove Beach. I've done several videos of the surf out there. And actually today there's a pretty good surf. A great view from the, the first tee here. shot of the view. If you can make out that land in the distance with a lot of snow on the side of it, that's the western side of Grand Manan Island. The cliffs on that side are two or three hundred feet high and that's not the populated side. People all live on the other side of the island. That's roughly, I don't know, ten miles from here I guess. It's amazing, some days it looks to be very close. Well, when I go down over this little hill here. I'll show you in a second. That concludes my circuit around the, the golf course. About halfway down there, fair distance yet, but about halfway down there is where I started from. So. I will shut this off and say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the walk around the golf course as much as I did. It's been great to get a little exercise.